All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Studios, and I'm at the reloading bench. Now, the cool thing is, is a lot of people made some really neat suggestions of putting this thing and putting an angle bracket to the wall. These are uh, old transite walls. I'm not going to do that on these, but there's wood trim across this whole level of windows over there that I can attach to it, and I can patch it up a little Durham's rock hard putty when I leave this place. But in any case, what I wanted to do was kind of show you something really cool. Uh, I'm in the process of developing a good 77 grain load. What's the hardest part about doing these type of loads where you're not doing a, a uh, progressive, but you're doing uh, individual drops, powder drops? Well, it's, it's filling those damn cases with powder and making sure that the, 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 the charge that you're getting them is equal every single time. Now, one of the things is, I watch a lot of that Gavin Tube guy, man, Johnny's Reloading Bench, all those guys, great information. If you're not subscribed to those channels, go do it right now. I am not the wherewithal on reloading. I know enough to be dangerous, which is one of the reasons why I'm going to do this video. So what I have here are three of the Frankfurt Arsenal IntelliDroppers. And I've, I found these things on sales uh, over the last couple of years. And then when I saw one, I'm going to have bought it. And a couple of these just stayed in the box until I was ready to do this video, this series. This is a lot of fun. Uh, we're also going to be doing uh, how to start reloading. Uh, with the help of the guys over there at Optics Planet, we're going to do a review on the Sierra Match Kings. They're going to send us a really cool Lee Classic turret press, not turret press, but the uh, single stage press with the uh, the breech lock stuff in it. I love that stuff. That was how I started out with the help of my good friend Pops Quest. He actually gave me the reloading book. Okay, so what are we doing here? Well, we're going to set these things up, and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to bring you along on the journey. Now, I got a camera overhead. And my biggest concern, especially the last time that I went out, one, I didn't match the cases, okay? So that's very important because when you start talking about the difference, and believe it or not, it's very important. We're not shooting bench rest here, but we are shooting something that's going to try to be sub-MOA, uh, equal to Mark 626 uh, clone Black Hills in both velocity and accuracy. So the big thing for me was to make sure that we were consistent. And one of the things we found out, the the uh, muzzle velocities were all over the place, okay? So I think because of a couple different things, uh, and we are gonna show you why. Uh, one is because I, diff I used non-matched cases, which means volume, uh, expansion, pressures are different in each case unless they're absolutely perfectly matched. Now we can get into some of the things where you fill them with water and test the weight and all this other stuff. We're not gonna do that. I'm not doing a bench shooting, but what I am doing is a lot of fun. Okay. So we've got three IntelliDroppers here. The cool thing about it, each one of those little trays here, here, and here, way different. <laughs> There's a different weight to them. So uh, one of the first things we have to do is calibrate, 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 calibrate. So the first thing I'm going to show you is I got this little tray full here, okay? We're going to pull these off real quick. And the cool thing about these IntelliDroppers, I'm not so much concerned about hooking them up to my phone and, and managing the loads like that. But what I am concerned about is developing a means and methods to deliver the same amount of charge on all of these. So you have to cross-reference, cross-reference, cross-reference. <laughs> reference. Uh, I can show you right now, watch this. So this tray right here, we'll put that there. We'll put this tray right here and we'll put this tray right here. Now, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and zero those out, just like that. Make sure that that's like that. I can remove these, and I want you to see the differences in the grain weight on these things. So, there's a, a 1.7 difference between here and here, okay? But almost a three grain difference between this guy and this guy, just off of these. So, what we gotta do is, <laughs> I, we, we know that they weigh differently. So how do we develop that accurate drop with knowing that these are like they are? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and zero these out. This is really cool. This is the, the process that we go through with these things. And it's very simple and very easy. And again, the biggest thing is to speed up that powder drop so that we're not sitting here all day doing what we're doing, okay? So case prep, powder drop, bullet seating, and crimp. So now what we want to do is I want to go calibrate. We'll do each one one at a time. I'm going to calibrate that one. Then we're going to press it again. And then we're going to go to 100. We'll do this one. I'm going to go calibrate. Put the 
50 grain up on there. And we'll do it again. And then we'll do this one here. And it will sit here and it will hit it again until it says pass on each one. Now, I don't know where the hell I did with the weights on this guy right here. Zero that out. Hit the calibrate button. Put this guy on there. Hit the calibrate button again. Wait till it says 100. Put this guy on there. Hit that again. Pass. So all three have been calibrated with the weights. Very cool. But what we have to do now, because the IntelliDropper will actually calibrate for the powder drop. So we'll go ahead and pull these off. Where's my brush? Make sure that all the powder's off of these things when we're doing this. Because I want to be as close as I possibly can. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put the trays back on it. And now what we're going to do, we'll zero them out. All right, and I'm going to do powder calibrate. Now, one of the things while we're doing this, you may ask why I'm not sitting down. Guys, I want to be nowhere near that table when it's doing the drops. Uh, I don't want anything to shake it. There's no air movement in this room. It's sound insulated. And what this thing is doing right now is it's actually going through how much powder equals each one of the turns and basically how much powder it drops. So it's calibrating itself, which is really nice. It's very neat how they go through their little deal, like little robots. So now the powder calibration is complete. Here comes the fun part in trying to make sure that these things are in alignment with one another, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take, put the powder back. Then I'm gonna drop that tray right back in position, making sure there's no powder on the measuring table. Like that right there, you can see those few little grains. And again, you know, guys, there's scales out there that will do one thousandths of everything. Good friend X-Ring and my buddy Is Your Six Covered also, uh, Todd Elsters have a lot of good videos about this stuff, and their, their powder drops are like $700. I'm not really into that thing. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to uh, wait till they're stable. I'm going to do a powder drop of 35 grains on this one right here because what I'm doing is I'm trying to ensure that what this one reads at 35 grains, this one reads 35 grains, and this one reads at 35 grains. So here we go. These things are really accurate. I, I watched Gavin Tube's uh, video he did on it and was pretty impressed with the accuracy in the drop. But what I'm trying to do is main, make sure that what that one reads is 35 grains, this one reads at 35 grains, and that one reads at 35 grains. So here's the test. Here we go. Come on. Hmm. And see how we're reading 34.8 right there? Let's go ahead and do another powder drop. Well, let's zero this guy out first. Damn it. Okay, so that one says 35. Let's go ahead and place it over here. Let's see where that one goes. 34.9. So let's do this real quickly. Let's pop it in again, all right? Make sure that we're zeroed out on all of these prior to starting. Here we go. Round two. 
I did a practice run with it and it did perfect the whole way across the board. <laughs> for the beat and then what we're going to do is we'll take it over here drop it in the center 34.9 damn it all right one more time zero Okay, one more time. Thirty-four point nine. Wow, look at that. Let's see if we can measure out the seventy. Average seventy out of two pours. Hmm. All right. Well, you see, I got a little bit of work to do, but it should be fun. It matched up perfectly this morning. Not sure why we're uh, one grain off, well, two grains off on one side, but I'm not giving up yet. Let's do it one more time. and giggles let's do this because I want to see if that one comes up at out really nice. Let's do this. Here we go. Duh. Wow. Okay. What in the wild, wild world of sports? Let's do it like this again. One more time. <sighs> the never ending hunt. Boom. 
All right, so here we are. We've got three IntelliDroppers. We're ready to rock and roll. We've got them balanced. We've got them sequenced. We've got them synchronized. We've got them calibrated. We've done everything we could to make sure that they're going to hit the same mark. So I have 10 prep pieces of brass right here, and we're going to use this Lyman deal to drop. I'm going to set these things up for 25.4 grains. Oops. 25.4. Okay, there we go. We're going to put them in auto so that they run and rock out. Wait for the beep. After we get them started and they start separating out, the beeps become a little bit more discernible. That one's ready. All right, so that's it, man. How to calibrate all your IntelliDroppers and uh, expedite your uh, charging drops in a precision manner. It's Codeboy32. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Oops. Freedom comes in 25.4 grains of CFE 223. KB32, I'm out of here. Y'all be good.